So we're gonna make some creme brulee. Okay, so some nice set cream with some egg yolks. We've got egg yolks, cast sugar, double cream. We're gonna add some vanilla to it to flavor it. So what we're gonna do, same sort of principles as our creme on glaze, okay? So we're gonna bring our cream to the boil. We're then gonna whisk our eggs and sugar together, okay? Add our vanilla to it. And then we are gonna add our hot cream to our eggs and sugar. And then we are going to bake them in little dishes, okay? So you're gonna bake them in a, an oven at 100 degrees in a bay-marie, I'll go through that in a little while, so it's a water bath to stop the eggs scrambling. And then we'll blowtorch them, okay, with some sugar on top. Right, hope you enjoy. So first job is we're gonna get our cream onto boil, okay? So whilst our cream's onto the boil, we're going to add our cast sugar and our egg yolks to the bowl. Okay, and then we're going to whisk these together, okay? So we whisk them until they go a little bit higher until we dissolve the sugar, okay? So maybe two or three minutes. So my cream has just come to the boil. Okay, so I'm going to pour that straight onto my eggs and sugar. Okay, so we need to whisk as we do it. Obviously, because we've got hot cream and we've got eggs, we're going to scramble. Okay. So we add all the cream. In my cream, I added a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Or you could use a vanilla pod. Okay. Or some vanilla paste. Okay, so it's going to be vanilla creme brulee. You can add whatever flavour you like, really. Okay. So we mix all together. Make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom of your bowl to make sure there's no eggs and sugar left. Okay. And then we're just going to leave that to sit for a minute, okay? We need to leave the sit so all the foam comes to the top and we're going to scoop the foam off so we get a nice flat creme brulee when we bake it. Alright, so I've allowed this to sit just for a minute. And I'm just, can see, I can see the foam on top. I'm just going to gently lift off some of this foam, okay? So whenever I do this, I take the foam off, because normally, if you bake it with the foam on top, the foam will actually burn in the oven, okay? And then actually, you'll think it's ready, but it's just the foam has made a crust on top, and the eggs and the cream are still quite liquidy in the bottom, okay? So you just take most of the foam off. You give it a nice stir. We don't want to leave it too long, because we want to keep it nice and warm. We want to try and get it in the oven when it's hot, okay? So there's our mixture. All right, so we've got our dishes, okay. I'm just gonna transfer my creme brulee mix into a jug. And then we're gonna fill our molds. So we're going to fill them all the way to the top. This is probably going to make about eight, I'd say. Okay, so I've got two more miles on the side. So we've got six so far. Right, I'll just get another mold. I've already got one more, I reckon. So I'll write the recipe in the description or somewhere. Use it all up, don't waste it. Right, so now we've used all our mix, okay? So our dishes are all full. We nearly need to make a bain marie, okay? So on the stove, I got some hot water. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna half fill the tray with boiling hot water, all right? Making sure we don't get the water in the creme brulees. Put a pan of water on and then we're going to half fill it. So, this is called a bay marie, okay? So, it means water bath. So, you use a bay marie when you're doing eggs, okay? Or well, you want something to cook nice and gentle, okay? So, we're going to put this into an oven at 120 degrees, okay? For about 
30 to 40 minutes, okay? And we just want the eggs to set really gently, okay? So hence why we use the water bath, the bain marie, okay? So it will stop the um, mold from getting too hot and curdling the eggs around the side. Okay, so 120 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Right, so I've just taken the creme brulees out of the oven. Okay, um, I'll try and pick one up for you. Just dry it a little bit. Okay, so it's got a little wobble to it, but it's set, okay? So it's got a little wobble as you can see, but it's not runny, okay? So what we're gonna do now, is I'm going to drain the water from the tray, okay, and they need, they really need to go in the fridge for at least six hours overnight, preferably. I'm going to put these in the blast chiller, okay, and hopefully be done in about an hour, and then I'm going to creme brulee them with some sugar and a blowtorch for you, okay? So they were in there for about 45 minutes, and then they're going to go in the fridge. Here are our lovely creme brulees, okay? So they're nice and cold, all right, they're set. So all we've got to do now is brulee them. So we're going to add a little bit of sugar and use a blowtorch okay, to get a nice crispy top one. Just add a teaspoon of sugar on top of one. And give it a little bit of a juff around to make sure it's completely covered. And blow blowtorch. We've got a blowtorch. You can always use a nice hot grill. Okay.